Hey, YouTube. Uh, I work at a call center and uh, had an interesting call today about someone who lost their dad. And uh, we talked about uh, what happens when someone passes. I read a book um, about it, and it said in the book that there's called what's called a spike, where um, even though someone's on their, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, asleep, you know, they're on the verge of dying. A spike is when someone just perks up, you know, just uh, wakes up and is alert and knows everything that's going on. All their surroundings uh, can communicate clearly and decisively uh, and can understand what's going on um, and I was like okay you know I read it and matter of factly and just took it for what it was saying and it happened it happened with my dad um, he has he had cancer a prostate cancer and uh, he was asleep for days <clears throat> and uh, he was just incoherent <laughs> and uh, he was asleep and uh, you can tell us of course hindsight's 2020 that it's going to be soon I, I was never willing to accept it um, and then uh, me and my brother uh, walked in on him and he was awake he was wide awake everything that was going on <clears throat> and uh, he uh, was coherent and we had a conversation and uh, Kit, Brad's kids were there and uh, he said hey come, I want you to set up this train set in my room for the kids and we said okay and we just stood there you know and I was just contemplating in my head and I'm sure Brad was too about you know, how we were going to accomplish this, you know, what to do next. And it just wasn't fast enough for him. <laughs> and he said, well, why aren't y'all doing what I'm asking you to do? I want you to do it right now. And you need to do it. You know, I want you to do it. And I'm paraphrasing, of course, this happened in 05. And uh, inside, and probably outside, I was praying like I am now. Like, And I was just happy. I didn't care that he was yelling at me did not matter at that point. I was just happy that he was alert and he was talking. I was ecstatic. Inside, I was just jumping up and down. And we just said, well, Dad, we're just thinking about what to do next, you know, getting a folding table out, setting the train set up. So we pulled it out, and uh, the mechanism wouldn't work, the actual thing that makes it go. He literally said, give it to me. And he got a screwdriver and went at it. And I uh, don't know if he quite, don't remember he quite fixing it. But the fact that he could work a screwdriver and and, and work on something was just amazing. It just blew my mind that what I read in a book came to provision. Uh, but then he went back to sleep uh, for good. Uh, never woke up again. Me and my brother were in the living room, and I distinctly remember this because of what happened. Uh, Mom went to, except for where she went to, she had to go to the grocery store. She went somewhere to a friend's house or something. Just to, she got out of the house, and she turned to us and she said, uh, "Why don't you boys go in there and, and talk to your dad?" And I'm thinking, well, I mean, he's not going to talk back, you know. And she's like. And I don't remember saying it, but I guess I did because she said, I know he's not going to talk back, but he'll be able to hear you. And I, you know, just to go with her wishes, I went in there. And I looked at him and I stroked his head, his hair on his head. And I, the only thing I could think of was, um, I'm going to miss you. That's the only thing I could think to say at the time. Before I could get anything else out of my mouth, uh, he frowned. 
and uh, pucker up frown like you like if he could cry he would and uh, I lost it <clears throat> I completely utterly lost it I cannot say anything else to him and I just left that left the room crying uh, and then Brad went in there I left Brad alone I don't know what he said to him he never told me but uh I let that be his private time with that wherever he wanted to tell him he would tell him uh, and that's my story uh she said the, the the caller said that she had a similar story where uh she read a his birthday card to him and she broke out crying and uh he literally her dad literally a tear ran down his side of his face and i thought wow that's amazing that two people could have you know similar stories about their dad passing so anyway Thought I'd share it with my YouTube people and um, YouTube family, and I uh, hope you can relate to someone who had cancer like I did.